Thank you, Presiding Officer. To address any concern around the select number of people who may serve on the Assembly, but the Cabinet Secretary set out how the wider public and organisations will be able to con contribute their views to any Citizens' Assembly to ensure that others can be involved in this important conversation about Scotland's future. Michael Russell. The uh, examples elsewhere tend to indicate that the Citizens' Assembly, I don't want to tie their hands, but the Citizens' Assembly will call for evidence uh, and they will want people to submit evidence. I've had a, a large number of uh, people contact me in the last few weeks to say that they want to be involved in the process. I'm grateful to all of them for so doing. I think it's now up to the Citizens' Assembly as it formulates the, the, the remit that it has uh, to put themselves in a position where they're then asking for contributions the length and breadth of Scotland, from Civic Scotland, from individuals and others. Sometimes the numbers are large. I mean, on the Eighth Amendment, there were 13,000 uh, admission, submissions. They were all up on the website so people could look at them. And some other subjects like, uh, for example, the um, fixed-term parliaments, I think there were only a, ha a handful. But they, where there is uh, interest and people will have the opportunity to, 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 to give information, the website is now open. You can begin to register your interest in it, and I hope this will become a dynamic process.